Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 5.30. It did not look very friendly. No, it does not. A Damani mm -hmm. Ranch resident spotted an insect that's believed to have the second most painful sting in the world. And boy, what a name it has. The Tarantula Hawk Wasp in Northern Nevada is our 2 News big story at 5.30 tonight. If you don't like bugs, it's huge. Kristen, <laughs> you're not going to like this story. It's like a bat. Yeah. There's a bat in our newsroom right now. Th there's a reason the name is so long, because it's such a big bug. I'm Ryan Kennedy. I'm Kristen Remington. Landon <laughs> is here in the studio. Okay, so was it actually a tarantula hawk wasp? It was. And forget the newsroom. <laughs> I got it right here. It but is. full disclosure, it smells really bad. So we're leaving it in this little container here. You can kind of get an idea of how big. Oh, look, Chris is going to make it happen there. Yeah, so um, earlier today, we took this bad boy to the state entomologist, right? And he confirmed that this guy was indeed a tarantula hawk wasp. <laughs> Guys. You know the bug means business when it attacks a tarantula and lays its eggs inside of it. This is a tarantula hawk wasp on YouTube, and this is a tarantula hawk wasp in DeMonte Ranch. I noticed a large <laughs> insect crawling around, and I went to look at it, and it looked pretty unusual. Annette Child spotted the wasp in her backyard Sunday morning. It did not look very friendly. They lived out here for a couple of years and have never seen one before. No, definitely not. She tried to kill it with some hairspray and eventually got it with a bat. If I had known what it was, I would, I would never have gone anywhere near it. In fact, some say the pain from a sting is comparable to a lightning bolt. However, state entomologist Jeff Knight says the wasps should leave you alone. They're not going to come chase you down and sting you or anything like that. And there are more sightings now because of our growth. As we uh, grow, we move into the desert, which is their normal habitat. Inside the Nevada Department of Agriculture, they have this collection of wasps. And believe it or not, they've been part of our ecosystem for quite some time. Uh, it's a common species around northern Nevada. Uh, has been recorded from here since the early 1900s. It's still important to be aware of them, he says. Teach your kids to pay attention. Yes, I did tell him to put on his shoes. And to watch your pets, too. Our dog ended up having some interest in it, which I shooed him away, not realizing how horrible that would have been if he actually had been stung by it. If somebody does get stung or a pet gets stung, um, you know, depending on the reaction, get them to a doctor or to get them to a vet. That was fun, right? You guys good? Yeah. All right, so the pain is really, really, really intense. They, some say it feels like a lightning bolt, but it only lasts for about five minutes or so, so there is some good news there. And Knight says, like with most insects, they are good for our ecosystem, so if you spot one, you don't really need to kill it. You can just let it do its thing, it, let it do its own thing, and then you should be okay. Covering the story, live in the studio, Landon Miller, Two news. Kristen, you good? Yeah, I'm not getting close to that. I will let it right, do it. Here you go. Thing. You wanna? No, don't even. We right. are friends until you do that. <laughs> uh, we saw go. plenty of blue stop it. Plenty of blue skies today, but that could <laughs> could be changing uh, in the days ahead. Speaking of lightning. Chief Meteorologist Mike Alger's on the weather center. Any storms on the horizon, Mike? You're not even thinking about that introduction at all, are you? I can tell you, you're, you're mailing that part of it in because yeah. your eye is still on the uh, tarantula the wasp bug. out there. Yeah, no, I, 